We'll now move on to John Alfawetsky, who is a postdoc, not a postdoc, sorry, a doctorate student um, in Ai Paquette and Christian Messier's lab. And he's going to talk to us today about new evidence shows strong diversity effects on productivity during the early stages of sand development being increasingly driven by complementarity. So I leave you the floor, John. Can you see the presentation? Yeah, we see it. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, hello everyone. I'm John. I'm a PhD student uh, of uh, Alain Paquet and Christian Messe, also William Keaton from the University of uh, Vermont. And I don't know, uh, I, I changed the title to the one which was planned, but uh, essentially it says the same. So the title is No Complementarity, No Gain, Diversity Effects on Productivity Occur Only with Complementarity Emerging from Increased Competition During STEM Development. So um, there we go. Uh, well, as you know very well in recent times, uh, global biodiversity has declined at alarming rates. Uh, this situation or scenario led the ecologists um, to wonder whether or not this biodiversity loss might have an impact on the functioning of ecosystems. Uh, that's why during the last three decades, more or less, analyzing the relationships between biodiversity and ecosystem functioning has become very relevant in the field of ecology. In particular, uh, in forest ecosystems, hundreds of studies looking into the effects of uh, biodiversity on forest productivity have been published all leading to the general consensus that more diversity promotes on average higher levels of productivity. Um, however, important divergences have been observed um, among these studies on the strength of these biodiversity effects with some of these studies reporting uh, negligible or only marginal effects. So um, what are the reasons behind these variations in the strength of uh, biodiversity. While um, some studies have already demonstrated that, you know, uh, complex interactions between uh, environmental factors and uh, forest structure can explain a part of this variation across space. Um, however, much less is known about the mechanisms driving the temporal dynamics of this relationship at, uh, along with uh, over time during forest development. Um, in particular, diversity effects are thought to be especially important on the early stage of STEM development when competition for resources is the major driver determining the forest structure and functioning. This is actually very important because uh, now that all these afforestation and reforestation programs allows great interest to fight global um, changes, it is uh, essential to uh, better understand the, the role of diversity in this young developing community. So um, in order to explain these diversity effects, two different uh, uh, mechanisms that act simultaneously have been proposed. On the one hand, we have uh, complementarity effects, which state that uh, if we mix a species with contrasting life strategies, a species with contrasting functional traits, uh, trees can use uh, resources more efficiently and at the same time reduce the competition for these resources. And on the other hand, we have selection effects, which state that the dominance of one or few species with a specific set of functional traits drives communities' uh, productivity. So how can these two mechanisms uh, drive uh, biodiversity effects over time during forest development. Well, um, during the first years after forest establishment, essential resources for uh, are normally abundant, fulfilling trees requirements to grow and survive. Consequently, during these first years, uh, competitive interactions among trees are minimal. This might reduce the likelihood of complementarity effects and might increase the probability of sampling a dominant high productive species that drives a community's productivity. However, as it stands developed, trees progressively expand their grounds, which intensifies 
uh, competitions for resources. This might potentially increase the influence of complementarity because positive biotic interactions are expected to emerge under more stressful conditions. So in this study, um, we aim to analyze the uh, diversity productivity relationship and its underlying mechanisms, complementarity and selection over time during the early stages of stand development. We hypothesize that the strength of this relationship increases with stand development driven primarily by uh, increases in complementarity as competition intensifies. Uh, we also expect that functional diversity, uh, diversity and identity of the three communities uh, explain these overall uh, diversity effects on productivity with the former being a stronger uh, relative predictor, okay? So in order to test this, we conducted uh, uh, this study in Aiden, Montreal. Uh, it is a biodiversity experiment with trees uh, where two gradients are established, a species richness gradient and a functional diversity gradient. And this experiment includes monocultures of uh, 12 native species. Then we have 14 combinations of two species, 10 combinations of four species, and one mixture, including the 12 species, okay? So basically what we do in this kind of experiment is um, comparing the performance uh, or, or productivity, in this case, of every mixture against their respective monoculture. Um, in this way, we are able to quantify empirically uh, both the net diversity effects and the underlying mechanisms, complementarity and selection, okay? So what we, uh, our results show a non-linear increasing change of diversity effects during the early stage of stand development that became positively significant nine years after uh, the establishment of the experiment. As you can see, the strengthening of the diversity effects of the net diversity effects were uh, driven primarily by increases uh, in complementarity as stands develop, while during the first year, year four and year five, negative selection effects were slightly more important, uh, driving these overall uh, net diversity effects. This trend, that the, the, this trend that we see here might be explained by the fact that, um, as you can see in this figure, uh, it takes several years before trees reach certain size where they begin to compete for the um, limited resources and where the contrasting and uh, contrasting architectural physiological traits might allow mixture to benefit from resource mix partitioning. Indeed, our, uh, we observe that mixtures characterized by um, having a species with contrasting resource use strategies increase pr uh, mixture productivity during the first decade of stand development. Um, how can we explain this? Well, um, through differences in the growth patterns during stand development, contrasting species can use different canopy positions which might reduce the competition and allow to capture more light at the community level. As competition for light reduces, trees also might invest uh, morphic or more fixed carbon towards the development of, of lateral branches, uh, increasing their crown size. In this regard, uh, vertical stratification and crown plasticity might be two mechanisms that uh, explain the complementarity effects we uh, observe in our study. On the other hand, we observe that functional identity of the three communities also play a key, uh, or plays an important role in driving the diversity effects over time. We found that uh, the dominance uh, by deciduous fast developing uh, early successional species uh, increase mixture productivity during the first decade of stem development. These results suggest that the complementarity efforts we observe um, 
in this study might be also driven by a species where with a specific set of functional traits that are able to take advantage of the diverse condition, uh, thus leading to overkill at the community level. Uh, specifically, one reason that might explain uh, our results is that the effective light acquisition uh, of these three communities dominated by this species uh, might allow them to grow faster uh, with intensified interactions among species. This increase um, in, in interaction among species might promote uh, needs differentiation and facilitation, which consequent, consequently could drive to this complementarity effect. So uh, to conclude with this presentation, this study shows that diversity effect on productivity is stressed progressively during the early stage of stand development, driven by gradual increases or in complementarity. This pattern seems to be directly related to the progression into uh, canopy closure and self thinning. Uh, where increasing competition for limited resources promotes these uh, positive complementarity effects. Uh, moreover, our study highlights that this overall diversity productivity relationship is affected by both functional diversity and identity. We saw that mixing uh, species with contrasting resource acquisition strategies and the dominance um, by the serious fast developing early successional species promote this positive diversity effect on productivity. Uh, thank you very much, merci. Thank you, John. And you're 30 seconds under, so it's perfect. So if you I could just, better. yeah. <laughs> um, so again, we will save the questions until the end of the period. So